Shortly after we moved to the Deep South, I made contact with a young man who was interested in studying the Bible, and I used to meet with him every week at a restaurant in a town about uh, 30 minutes from here. Shortly after we began meeting, he told me that his boss's daughter had committed suicide. And so I went with him to the funeral. The place was packed with young people. The first man who got up to speak, introduced as brother so-and-so, I don't remember his name now, he said, you know, when this tragedy occurred, referring to the death of this young woman, I was counseling a man about uh, what the Word of God said regarding something he had a decision to make about. And uh, he had called me that day and said, listen, uh, I think I'm just going to have to make up my own mind on this. In other words, he had no plans to obey what God said in his Word. And then he said to the young people, young people, there was only one person in all of history that was capable of making up his own mind about everything. And that was Jesus. But interestingly, he never did that. He always checked in with his father. And he said, you know, if there are things in your mind that are contradictory to what Jesus said, they are fortresses of Satan in your mind and pointing to the casket he said this is the end of that road he made reference to the words found in 2nd Corinthians chapter 10 where the Apostle Paul writes in verse 3 though we walk in the flesh we do not war according to the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. After he was finished speaking, and I tell you, he had God's word for that town and for that crowd of young people. The father got up to speak, and very sadly he said, you know, the thing that just so distressed me was that though my daughter professed to be a Christian, I'm afraid there was so little evidence in her life. And then he said, young people, don't live in such a way that when you die, we have to guess where you are. It was such a solemn time, and I never forgot the impact of those words, that any thought that is contradictory to what Jesus says is the devil's lie, and he is a liar and a murderer from the beginning. And so it's our responsibility, using these spiritual weapons that he's given us, to cast down every argument that would raise itself against what Jesus says, and to lay claim to the high ground, to do battle for God in our minds, and tear down those strongholds of Satan where he wants to get his way and destroy our lives for God. May the Lord help us to take these words seriously so that we might enter into the life of victory. The battle will be won or lost between your ears by simply taking claim to the Word of God and walking in obedience to it.